Hi, it's Hal from Light with another video recap of Monday Night Light, our live, free, weekly web seminar every Monday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Last Monday, we talked about one of the most versatile and powerful retouch tools available in Photoshop, and interestingly, one of the tools that not too many people know about and even fewer use. That is the patch tool. The patch tool is nested underneath our spot healing brush over here in the toolbar, and it's about the third one down, and it looks like a little patch of fabric. The patch tool is unique in that it is a combination, to some degree, of what the clone stamp does and what the healing brushes do. Remember, the healing brushes, they take texture and transfer texture from one area of the image to another. Clone stamp picks up pixels and transfers pixels from one area of the image to another. The patch is going to do a little bit of both. Before we use the patch tool, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we keep this process non-destructive. And the patch tool requires pixels, so we can't just create a blank retouch layer. Instead, we need to duplicate our background by either dragging it down to the Create New Layer icon or by using the keyboard shortcut of Control or Command J to jump or duplicate the layer. With a retouch layer and the patch tool selected on the toolbar, then we need to go up, of course, to the Options bar to configure the patch tool and see how it's going to interact with our specific document and retouching needs. The first part of the Options bar are presets. We don't need to look at presets for the patch tool. Next, we have our selection icons, which lets us know that the patch tool is a selection tool. First, New Selection, followed by Add To, Subtract From, and Intersection. For almost all of your patch work, you want New Selection. The next thing we have is patch with two radial buttons, either source or destination. What we're going to do with the patch tool, much like we do with the clone stamp and the healing brush, and I want you to think about those two for a moment. With the clone stamp, we define a source of pixels, and then there's a destination where we place those pixels. With the healing brush, we define a source for texture, and then place that texture someplace else. With the patch tool, we also have a source and destination but we need to think of them a little bit differently. Okay. Source, that is of course where the good pixels or texture are coming from. The destination, where it needs to go. With the source radial button highlighted, we actually circle, that is select the destination, and then drag that to a source. With destination selected, we will select initially a source and then drag to the destination. We'll demonstrate that in just a moment. We also have a transparent checkbox and for most of your retouching needs you're going to want to leave this unchecked. So our patch tool is configured with source. We have a retouch layer. Let's zoom in onto this image and try and find some places that need our attention. Now this is a part of a fine art reproduction piece we did for a local business owner and the piece had a lot of damage on it and we're going to go in and take out some of that damage. We see some, some watermarks, some, some creases, some crinkles, some spots, all sorts of things across this image. We could go in and do some work with the clone stamp or with the healing brush, but since this is a patch demo, that's what we're going to use. The first part of the process with source as the radio button, we want to select the destination. So a destination would be someplace like we see here where we have some of these small blemishes. So I will select the destination by clicking and holding the mouse and then dragging around. You could also of course be using your Wacom tablet at this point to make it even more precise and ergonomic. So in the initial portions of this tool it's very much like using the lasso. So we lasso or select the destination. And now we're going to drag by clicking and holding the mouse inside over to a good source. So we find some other place that has good pixels, good texture, and we want to replace. All we need to do at that point is let the mouse go, and now we have created an excellent retouch right over one of our blemishes. Let's do that again looking at this smaller blemish over here, this longer one over to the right. Once again, I find the destination, circle it, to make an active selection, and then click inside and drag over to some pixels and texture that I want. 
The process is just like that. As long as we have source highlighted up in the options bar, all we need to do is select what is bad, drag to what is good. Select what's bad, drag to what's good. Let's take a look now at the destination functionality. The first thing I'm going to do though is with an active selection, I don't want to have one of those because it can get a little tricky for me, I'm going to hit Control or Command D to deselect. I'm also going to go down to a different part of the image that has a lot more blemishes on it. And these are small things that I actually put into this file just to give us a little bit better discussion. So switching from source to destination, what happens? Well, destination, we can think of the destination as all of these spots, places that are bad. What we need to do first is select a good source texture and pixels. I'm just going to grab an area right over here. So you make your selection of a good area, and then by clicking inside of the selection, drag it down to what is bad. So we initially select the source, and then we drag it every place we need it. Notice each time I let go of the mouse, it is using that source pixels and texture to overwrite what I had, and very, very quickly, removing all of these blemishes. Let's show that one more time. I have a few more pieces down here, a few more spots that need to be removed. So I'm going to make a selection of a good area, good pixels and texture, click inside and drag that down to the bad areas. And I just move it and replace them all. When you're using this option with destination, it's much like the clone stamp. Remember to define a new source often, otherwise you can get some repetition in your retouching. Those are the two basic options and basic use for the patch tool. Depending upon your image, you may use one or the other. Now I'm going to switch back to source and show you where the patch tool really shines. For that, I'll zoom in to a part of this image, and my functionality doesn't want to work quite well for me. There we go. And I was just getting a momentary actuation of the zoom tool there to, to come in. The patch tool is really going to shine for you when you have a blemish that is fairly large, kind of like this one we're tracing right here. But more importantly, that issue goes from an area of one tone to another or it crosses a line of contrast here like this mountain ridge. Some of our other retouch tools, we can solve this problem, but the patch is going to do a much better job. To see how this would work, I'm going to first start with source. That is, I'm going to highlight or select the problem here. And once I have it selected, we just click inside and drag. And now I'm looking to find some other bit of this mountain ridge, the line of texture that's going to match up nicely release the mouse, and there we have a nice retouch for a blemish that happened to be across a line of contrast, and it spanned different textures, different brightness levels, different colors. The patch is going to work great. Let's show that same thing over on this small portion here. I will select the bad, click inside, and drag up to the good now, trying to make our lines match up, release, and we have a relatively nice retouch. So that is, in a very quick nutshell, the patch tool. It will become most likely one of your favorite retouch tools because once you start using it and you see its power and versatility, you're going to want to use it all the time. Hope to see you online tonight at 6.30. Remember, you can always sign up for Monday Night Light on our blog, lightworkshops.blogspot.com. Have a great day.